Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask Aunty. This is a special episode because I'm making this video for parents and not for children. On popular request from not parents but children that I make a video for their parents, I am making this one. So I thought I'll start with a question that I get asked a lot by parents. This is, I want to approach the subject of marriage with my son or daughter. How do I do it? Because every time I bring up this subject, they get irritated and um, I worry that they're getting older and, you know, if if I don't support them in making this decision right now, they might end up alone forever, right? Okay, let me just, let me just start by saying that your role as a parent to an adult today is merely that of a mentor, advisor or supporter. You are not the primary decision maker when it comes to your son or daughter choosing their life partner. They have to come forward and want to get married in order for you to help. You cannot force your children or nag them on a daily basis that they're getting older and that's why they should actually think about getting married uh, sooner rather than later. Although I can completely understand your concerns and worries, but remember that a part of being in a marriage or in a serious relationship is for you to adult on your own and know your responsibilities so it starts with you wanting to get married in the first place uh, there's this popular saying where they say you know um, you can take a horse to the river but you cannot force the horse to drink the water from the river right uh, so the same applies even even to your children so having said that how do you bring up this conversation and how do you deal with your own concerns of watching your children not making this decision whereas you made this decision in your day and age at a much younger age compared to your children. So a great way to do this is to have an open conversation with them by asking them what they have in mind, what they think about marriage and whether that is something on their radar. Um, if not, do they have any thoughts on when they uh, plan to have this on their radar and also suggesting or um, you know sharing with them what your thoughts are about marrying at a certain age or not but once you've done this conversation with them once you don't need to repeat it every weekend you don't need to repeat it every six months they're adults they they know what's important to them um, you repeating it 20 times or thousand times is not going to make a difference because there are adults and they make this decision on their own. Your role is merely of somebody who supports. They're asking you for support in terms of, let's say, shortlisting profiles or putting the word out there among family and friends. You can do that. But that's only when they ask you to do that. Now, you may say, oh, you know, come on, youngsters these days never have this on their mind. And, uh, you know, as parents, it's our duty to sort of remind them on a regular basis. Let me just say that there are tons of dating apps that people are on all the time. Being in a relationship, finding a partner is almost on everyone's mind. There are very, very few people who seriously want to be single and know that they want to be single. Now, if somebody is not prioritizing this, that doesn't mean that they want to be single for forever. It just means that they have other things going on in their life and they want to deal with this at a later point of time. You may also be wondering as to what is the right time to actually approach this subject with your son or daughter. So I would say if your son or daughter has, you know, uh, completed their education, has been in a job that they seem sort of fairly comfortable in for a year or two, and you feel like they're sort of settled in their career and not, um, you know, sort of wading through murky waters in terms of trying to figure out what they want to do professionally, that's usually a good time to approach the subject and sort of Sow the seeds in the head if they haven't really spoken about it with you as yet. Um, but anything earlier and talking about it over and over again uh, does scare uh, people of this generation a lot because we all have a lot of exposure and a lot of professional ambitions that is slightly different from the previous generation. And until and unless we feel more or less settled in that part of our lives, uh, which can sometimes take forever, 
we may not have the time or energy to prioritize partner search um so this is something important to consider while bringing up the subject with the children now what do you do as a parent how do you deal with your own panic and that's probably a question that you have in your mind right um form a nice little support group of parents that are similar like you and um, hang out with them talk to them exchange stories but don't take your own sort of um anxieties and frustrations and put it on to your sons or daughters because they have enough pressure in their own lives with respect to so many things um career trying to figure out who they want to spend the rest of their life with they have this at the back of their mind anyway on their own and you don't need to add to that pressure make sure that you make them feel confident that you will support them no matter what their choice is because um people have lots of preferences today that may or may not align with yours and that's completely okay because they need to spend the rest of their lives with uh the person that they choose to be with and um, all you can do is stand by and support um of course you already knew a lot of this but i guess something new that you probably didn't know that i hope you learned from this video is that almost everybody from this generation has finding a partner on the back of their mind and they're not prioritizing this or they're not succeeding in this for various different reasons that they may or may not want to discuss with you as a parent but that's really okay they're adults and you've got to respect that and you've got to trust them uh in terms of making this decision at a time that makes sense for them I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions for me, very specific questions that you'd like me to answer through similar videos like this, do feel free to leave um uh, them in the comment section. If you have any general feedback or thoughts or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section as well. And of course, share it with friends who are in uh, a similar situation as you. Do subscribe to my channel to see some more such videos that will be posted on a weekly basis. Until then, um if you just want to have a chat, uh feel free to visit my website marriagebrokeranti.com and book in a uh, a consultation session with me where we can actually discuss your particular case and see how uh we can support your son or daughter in terms of making this decision provided they want to make this decision. So, good luck. Thank you.